Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Gary. How are you? Yes, I'm all right. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you again. You too. Excellent. And uh, just recently, we were kind of discussing a scripture in Joel. Uh, I think it's 2.25 about uh, the, the Lord was saying to his people, I will store the years uh, that the locusts have eaten. Yes. And I just wanted to kind of see if we can expound on that today and apply it to our lives or perhaps to your life and, and see what does that mean to you and how's how how would you say that God has restored the years the locusts have eaten for you? Mm. It's a very powerful scripture, as we said, isn't it? You know, this this idea of the 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 harvest is gone. I mean, that's one thing that you can't wind back. You you can't mm. recover years. You can't recover time. Other mm. things can be restored, but but once time's gone, it's it's gone. It, it's gone. So it's like it's almost a kind of a miraculous thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and of course, that that verse in in Joel two is the is the prelude to the great prophecy that Peter claims for the day of Pentecost, you know, and, and this is it, you know? So that was yeah. the, uh, the, the sort of theological uh, framing of, of God's restoration yeah. is, yeah, I know it's wonderful, isn't it? I mean, you can tell these stories about yourself uh, and, and, and think about the story of your life. And it's sometimes, it's just what it is, and and now it's gone. And to say that God is going to restore or repay, I think the Hebrew word can be used both ways, can't it? Um, is 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 a miracle. It's something that is wonderful to uh, participate in or to watch what He's doing. Do you remember that bit when Jesus begins his ministry and he says, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me and he's he's an, anointed me to, to, to preach good news. And then he speaks about the people to whom he's sent. And it's that, you know, those who sit in darkness have seen a great light, you know, to the blind, those in dungeons are going to be released. Those in darkness are going to be the, the, the light of God is going to shine on. It's all a picture of of the kind of incursion of the of the gospel into people like like me and you with that with our particular stories and all the things that it might have gone wrong <laughs> saying Ksh-shong! yeah the spirit of the lord again the the joel 228 thing the spirit of the lord's risen on you it's the coming of the lord and and this is exactly what jesus did isn't it Sorry, I'm starting preaching, aren't I? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, honestly, I love it. I, li- I like to sit and hear and listen. Uh, but a question for you, Ken. Uh, do you feel God's repaid you in some ways over the years? Do you feel there's some things uh, that God has repaid you? And if so, what 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 do you feel that he's done for you personally? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I guess the the very first one that needs to be restored for me were uh, relationships yeah. uh, the, way, the way that God's spirit works in my life, just softening me, changing me. But I mean, there's so much of your life as, as a believer that is, that is new, you know, yeah. you, and, 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 and yet the, I mean, the very first thing I did, I think when I made a claim for Christ as uh, and now it, as a young man probably about 25 or, or or so just just really it was actually the road towards my baptism that was incredibly significant for me um and the first relationship that had to be restored was with my parents was to to, to go 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 and see them you know because i'd left under a, something of a cloud and had been wandering around and uh, homeless and behaving really foolishly and then actually come looking for me it makes me weep when i think of it so so they were people probably of my age now (laughs) and i have children (laughs) my age then (laughs) so i I do know exactly what it looks like you know so i think of this this couple who've got their own life going on and they drive down from Norfolk to Brighton and they're actually literally going through the streets uh, yeah. looking for me thinking, oh man, that's that's almost too too hard to even think about, isn't it? 
and yeah. and, they, and they, they did that so that was so that that needed restoring didn't take much restoring but it was mm. it was the the restoration of a relationship that, that i'd let drop let drop yeah Powerful. yeah mm. so, good. And, i mean sorry go on ken no i mean I, I was just using it as a paradigm for thinking of the way that we our our relationships deteriorate and they're saying yeah. in this way i'm going to restore what the locust has eaten what's been what's been robbed from you yeah mm. yeah because i think through our fallen state and our sinful state and i know me personally i broke up with my parents rebelled went on a little journey probably similar to you the same age left the family home went on a little journey, almost like the prodigal son running away and doing my own thing. But yeah, he restored relationships back. When I gave my life to Christ, came into a, a real relationship with God, that was one of the first things, the very first things that I, yeah. the people who once shut the door on me now opened the door and embraced me with open arms. So relationships is at the top i think is what god it, it uh, specializes yeah yes it, it does it, it it comes at the very very top of it and it goes through doesn't it because it it, it goes on you know i'd come out of a, a broken relationship and then it not with the same uh, woman but with 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 my wife val maybe making yourself capable of having a yeah. long and consistent and loving relationship you know so, so so, so that's that's one side of like you know you know the Isaiah sixty one idea of of, of mm -hmm. the, the this being what the good news is is the restoration of the things that are broken, and the recovery of sight for the blind. That that's a really powerful image, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the spirit of the sovereign Lord's army, the recovery of sight for the blind, not just people, not not just the health aspect, but the. I, the vision aspect of of seeing life and understanding you know the recovery you didn't see it before you didn't see no. it and now and now you do it you know you see life in a different way like like jacob with jacob's ladder and saying surely god was in this place and i didn't know and i didn't mm. know and i think that the when jesus said the recovery of sight for the blind he's he's like mm. it's, it's like an offer of something that's brand new but it's, it's recovery you, you you should know this but it's, here we go again you know maybe jesus was yeah. like that all the time wasn't he you know mm. make, making that 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 gospel uh gift of of sight you, you know like with the, the woman taking an adultery and he's saying go and sin no more i do not condemn you or or zacchaeus yeah. you know it's like saying this man too is a son of abraham he's my brother you, you know he's he's just offering a a vision of of something the restoration of something that's lost yeah i see i see it as god god being a god of justice i mean as you were talking i was remembering a a book to train to cardiff and it was cancelled twice right. <laughs> but we finally got there in the end but uh you know and i had to kind of scramble to try and get this refund but i was refunded for the for the cancellation of the train. Um, oh. But God is like, you know, he, he doesn't like it when we're robbed of things, you know, mm. robbed of our relationships, robbed of certain things. And when he when we come into relationship with, with Christ and with, and with the Lord, he sees the areas where perhaps we were robbed, things were taken by the enemy. And he says, no, I'll repay them places. I'll restore them places. Mm. I'll put you back together. And yeah. uh, it blows my mind. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah. So those things like relationship is probably the the big one, and and also the recovery of yourself, your your your, your like self images or, or reputation maybe, or, or your fragile fractured personalities. You, you know, when that whole thing about learning to love love yourself. Yeah. Yes. Not quite sure I'm there yet. <laughs> oh, you'll get there, Ken. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, but she, yeah. So, I mean, with that said, you know, we can look forward to getting them parts back. You know, myself, my soul, when my soul's been fractured, different relationships, like you said, 
broken down, put back together in my mind. I mean, you know, my fiance passed away two years ago. And even in that, yeah. you know, God is putting these things back together, preparing me so that when the time comes, I'll meet someone else, renewing, restoring. And it gives you hope, you know, that you don't have to stay in a place of like, this happened, therefore you, mm. um, you, you say, well, that's why I am. It dictates my life. No. God is saying, I'm putting it back together and therefore you can move on from that and you can look forward to a, a brighter future. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There's more, there's more, there's, there's more coming. And it's like the, the it's like a promise, isn't it? And and it's yeah. like a, a, a reassurance of looking at some, at, at everything, the circumstances of your life in, in a different way. That was true for me. The, the, the one was the, you know, the restoration of, of, family and relationships and then through that i think into the meaning and purpose and, of, of marriage and mm. somebody just asked me just uh, yesterday saying well how, how long have you been married then and, and i said well no, 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 30, 35 years now 35 years and so, so i said oh that's impressive and i, and I said you know, we don't actually argue you know and that was that was even a, a weirder one to Say, oh come on! <laughs> so, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We never. We never argue. We, no. And yeah, and I'm not even going to make a joke about it. It's really. <laughs> it's a really. It's a really really big deal. Maybe because we both had unhappy relationships before that we came into this uh, ready to take it seriously. But that's certainly that's certainly part of the restoration. Of, of of the meaning of relationship yeah is, is right there it's good and all these all these kids they've only been possible because of that stabilized relationship yeah it's mean, yeah. powerful i mean it's like we said earlier nothing's wasted in god no we learn we grow we yeah. look at the we can look at the, the places and we can take something from it and god uses something from it to build us to be better people and, and in that first part of the scripture where it says i will mm -hmm. we can take the i will of god mm -hmm. and we can use it in our prayer and, and if god says i will repay you you know we can probably find areas in our life where god hasn't yet done that but we can pray into it. God, you said you will repay yeah. me for X, Y, and Z. And we can use it as yeah. a prayer and then stand on that promise that he said, sure. I will. It's not a quantitative yeah. thing, of course. It's a it's a qualitative thing, isn't it? It's, it's always relational. Yeah. But yeah, it's not a quid pro quo. But I completely agree with, with, with that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, one part of it, this, this isn't really my story so much as Val's story, but she was brought up in care and brought up in, I think it was 16 different homes by the time she was 15, something like that. So, so it, was, it was, you know, fraught and messy. And yet out of it, together, we, yeah. we, we've, had, we've had our four children and then these... 20 or so foster children and some of them from but well pretty much all of them from broken badly broken backgrounds or very difficult backgrounds and then you, you sort of think this is part of the restoration mm. of a fractured relationship this mm. is so in some ways you can't revisit the past but you can renew the future and you can use the that yeah. use the past as uh, you know said i will restore to you the years the locus of eaten and the the second part of your life is going to be richly repaid somehow from the 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 breakup of the first part of life yeah. hallelujah hallelujah that's, that's awesome yeah. it's almost i'm thinking of uh, hearing like the double portion you know, like uh, Job, he had so much things yeah, going on. There. Yes, yes, that's and certainly a paradigm of that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to restore it. Yes, yes. Yeah, awful. Yes. <clears throat> so it can give give lots of hope to people who are listening to this. Perhaps they've had things happen in their lives that they feel that they're at a loss, and perhaps this the the mind stays there. The mind stays in the past, the trauma, the hurt. But they can hear a message like this and move on and say, well, actually, that's not where the book stops. Yeah. Yes, this happened in the past. Yes, these 
things hurt. But the God we serve and the God who loves us is mm. shifting us from that to a greater thing where he will restore, he will repay. And when we get there, we can rejoice in saying that our God is faithful in mm. doing what he said he would do. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we just speak, Lord, against the things that are painful, the things that are priceless, the things that are fruitless, fruitless in our past. And we look, we're looking to you, Lord. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, mate. Well, thank you, Ken, once again. God bless you, sir. God bless. <laughs>